So, um, we got some major MCU news, or major Marvel, whatever the fuck I'm going to call this uh, this thing. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to talk about some news uh, that dropped. Uh, I forgot to talk about this earlier, but now like all the news for the MCU is like all the upcoming, at least the MCU shows. We don't know much about movies, uh, but MCU show-wise uh, for Disney+, Plus. Yeah, that is, uh, god damn, stupid little hair sticking out. It's gonna bother me. Anyway, so, yep, yeah, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna kind of speed run all the, like, Disney Plus MCU show announcements. Now, it has been said that, like, uh, according to Bob Iger, the head of Disney, um, basically the new rule is, uh, we're gonna, they're gonna have a max of three movies per year and t only two MCU shows. I don't know why I did it like that. <laughs> but yeah, so basically three movies per year. That sounds like the like the normal amount before the Chapek era was just like throw everything against the wall, um, and it was like five movies in one year. So three movies a year, two MCU shows. That that sounds reasonable. Like that was the old regime. Like that was the old MCU ver like the old MCU law, where it was like yeah we're only gonna have three movies. A it like we're only gonna do three movies, two shows a year. And the first of those MCU shows is coming out this month. I mean, not this month, excuse me, um, this year, which is uh, Agatha. But what is the title for Agatha? Is it Coven of Chaos? Is it Heart of Harkness? Is it Lying Witch and the Wardrobe? Is it whatever the fuck? Is it like any title that uh, like you could think of? No, it was Agatha all of I fucking hate. It, it, you mean to tell me this whole time, all these years, all these different titles that you have gone that uh, that Agatha has gone under? You mean to tell me that the real title this whole time was Agatha all along, and all the other titles were just fake titles for promotion? Fuck, we should have seen that. Like, really, I'm kind of mad at myself, really. Where I was like, I was kind of almost mad at myself. Where I was like, how did I not see that? That that was just marketing. Like, that was just meant, uh, like, that was one long marketing scam. Although some people have speculated that they've probably, uh, that maybe all these multiple titles are just the names of the episodes for the show. Which I would believe. I would believe that these are like, th that they've just been giving us the episode names this whole time. Which I would honestly believe that. So... Kudos to MC to the MCU for making a for basically one of the biggest longest trolls I have ever seen for a many marketing campaign in my life. Um, so yeah, I'm ex I'm kind I'm pretty interested in the Agatha Harkness show the because uh, I want to see if they can recapture that kind of that uh, love that Vision and Scarlet Witch had. I am very uh, excuse me, uh, WandaVision. Like I want to see if they can recapture that kind of you know, absolute cinema that was WandaVision. So, let's see if they can recapture that. It's also rumored that Mephisto and Cthon will be in the show. So, this is like we're gonna really step into some dark mystic shit. So, let's see where that goes. Next up, we have confirmation for an official date so far, this could change, for Daredevil Born Again. It will be in March, 25th, March 2025. So, next early next year. Yeah, Cool. I'm down for it. I am legit down for um, this finally getting a air date. We knew it was going to be like 2025. We knew it was going to be close. We, but most people were saying 2025 or 2026. Like late 2025, early 2026. That was the projection for a lot of people. But nope. Um, nope. Early 2025. So the sooner the better we get to go back to Daredevil. We do know Punisher is going to be in the show. They're going to th they're throwing a lot of stuff in here. Like they are legit throwing in a lot of stuff and I'm curious to see how they will pull it all off. And finally, a show that we thought was canceled, but nope, it's not. Um we got confirmation that Ironheart is still a go. It is coming out next year, so it will be the second MCU show. So, I guess that's a that kind of proves all the like the M the MCU, ugh, God, that, excuse me, the MCU is dead, you know, it, it basically, like, gets rid of all the MCU is dead, like, uh, like, no, they're still there, but, like, 
everyone who said, oh, Ironheart's a useless show, that's why they cancel it, totally. I base my facts on, on nothing but trust me, uh, but sources that say, trust me, bro. Yep, yeah, so... I'm curious about Ironheart. She was an interest. She was pretty neat in the um, in Wakanda Forever. Um, I'm more interested to see Mephisto than anything. I want to see. I'm I, the main thing that's the draw for me is Sasha Baron Cohen's uh, Mephisto. That's kind of the bigger draw for me. Um, not to say I'm not excited for for uh, Ironheart, but like that's what I'm more interested in is is seeing you know Mephisto make his in, his MCU debut after how long? Yeah, but I think we all agree that Daredevil's the one show that we're all excited for. Not to discredit Agatha or, you know, Ironheart, but, like, guys, you know, Daredevil's the one thing we've been dying for for years, and to finally have it, ba finally have the show, like, his own show, after showing up in, like, She-Hulk and Echo, and showcase that, yeah, Matt's still around, Matt's still awesome, let's go. Let's, as uh, Deadpool would put it, let's fucking go. So... Yeah. Um, cool. Mar like, uh, Marvel 2024 has been kind of light because of some shuffling and whatnot. They're really kind of banking on, you know, Wolverine and, De you know, Deadpool and Wolverine to really, like, you know, help, you know, resuscitate some view viewership. Even though I don't think that's the case. I'm not one of those people who think, oh, the MCU's dead. I'm not one of those people. Um, but it's very, cl but you can clearly see that just having one movie and only two shows, um, so far apart, because I forgot Echo came out this year. Like, I forgot Echo had come out, uh, in February of this year. So, they only have one major movie. It clearly shows that, like, they're kind they're trying to play, like, safe and, and, like, uh, go from there. But anyway... So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of this MCU news? Are you guys excited? Or are you guys not? Uh, just comment below, let me know. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.